Are you stuck? What about unhappy? Join Elena Chapman, author, mentor, and life coach for 30-minute moments as she challenges you to get out of the doldrum and start living your life to the fullest. It's time to celebrate that life with 30-minute moments. Hello, everyone. You are now listening to 30-Minute Moments. Yay! And I'm your host, Elena Chapman. And I got to tell you, I am so happy with this show because I love to bring that betterment and that ease into your life. Every guest gives you such wonderful insight and tools that you can start applying to your day, even if that's investments in new f- f- currencies like Bitcoin or, or stepping outside your box or living outside your box. Cool. And then, you know, even online, guys, if you, I'm looking for women who want that kind of growth every day and, and that sharing in that community and that savvy sisterhood. Everything I do, Elena Chapman is here, is to bring you betterment, ease, and growth in your life. Um, If you are interested in having that wonderful support and that wonderful growth, and you are a woman right now, then go to joinsavvysisterhood.com right there in the Facebook search. Join it all together. Join Savvy Sisterhood, no spaces, and you'll come up with our private group. And today I just had a fabulous, fabulous interview with Sally Saint, who is from the UK, who talks about conscious parenting. Who doesn't need that? So that's for Savvy Sisterhood. But back to 30-minute moments, because we have a fabulous guest today. I'm very excited about this man. He is the Dr. Phil meets Pearl Jam. (laughs) That's him in a nutshell. He's America's behavioral expert. He was, I don't know if he still is, but a syndicated radio show host. Also, he's been on TV and he's been on radio as guests. He's been in Forbes, US Today, Fox, CBS, NBC, Hollywood Reporter, all this stuff. He's a two-time national and international best-selling author. I like that, Scott, because so am I. Golden Quill Award, author of eight books now. This is the thing, guys. He is putting out there this wonderful book he's got out now. It's, it's called, It's Not Them, It's You. <laughs> you got to love that. How to Truly Lead Your Company. I love that. One more thing about him that I really like is that it's endorsed by Bob Proctor. You can remember Bob Proctor was a guest here and also is my mentor and best friend. I love it. And this is what he says. Scott's focus is always on results. Yes. Not your feelings. The results you'll achieve from following his steps will be extraordinary for your life and your business. With that, I'd like to bring on Scott Farrell. Hello. Thank you for uh, having me on today. I am very excited to have you on. It sounds like you have done such fabulous things and you really, you know, you're really moving and shaking and getting businesses going. I love it. I want to talk to you a little bit about this book, It's Not Them, It's You. I love that title. I love that. Now, but what did you mean by that? So remember when we were dating, and you sit down <laughs> at the dinner t- and, and they go, well, no, 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 it's not you, it's me. Well, it's reverse in business and in life and anything else. It really is you. If you fix you first, then we can fix your company. Until I fix you, we can't fix the company or your home life or your relationship with your kids or with your spouse or anything else. It always starts with that person. Good. Give us an example. Yeah. yeah. When I go in to, uh, to meet with a CEO, yes. I've got to know their personal life. i got to know, because I can tell you right now, how he treats his assistant or she treats her assistant, it's how they treat their family, how they treat their friends, how they treat their extended family. So I know a lot about a person just through interaction of what I've seen as soon as I walk in. And you got to know who you are, what your purpose is, where you're going, what that mission is for your life. So you can lead your company on that mission. You know, so the biggest. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. The no, biggest thing. No, when I was doing the book, I interviewed 400 senior vice presidents. Wow. And they consistently told me the most frustrating part of their job was a lack of focus on what the true mission was of the company and yes. how to go get it. You know, and that's very true. When I speak, I I speak to a lot of entrepreneurs, the same thing as big corporations. If you don't, I call it a vision. If you don't have a true, tangible feeling 
coming alive in your mind vision, then nobody who works for you understands. And nobody you don't understand. And you don't truly know where you're going. Um, it, you have to know. You have to know what this is about. It's not just selling a product. It's not just making a product. What is the end goal in mind? What is that vision for the company? What makes you different from everyone else? I, I agree totally. I want to back up a little bit. It's funny that you say you can look at a person or see what they're doing, and you can tell how it's affecting all their lives. I'm, I'm here with you on that. I had a client... Um, she has trouble in her business. She found that nobody was respecting her, even though she had a good position. She was not, you know, she wasn't a secretary, even though that's good. She was head of marketing for this big corporation, and yet she wasn't getting any respect. Come to find out, she's not getting respect at home with her kids. She's not getting respect with her husband. She's not getting respect with her friends. The same problem follows you in every area of your life. That's right. Uh, well, both of us, it sounds like, run into that quite frequently, and, and it's easy to see. And, and then we just put implement steps into their lives to fix those issues, and then everything can and will run smoothly. I think I like, I like that very much. When you talk about, in your book, when you talk about these um, different, the tools that you use, what's one that you find that really works for you in the best way, you know, that you know is going to just help that person the absolute best? I, I always tease them, again, figure out who you are first. If you figure out who you are, the rest of this is gravy. And then I talk about, and, and I got this from interviewing people, because I only write books after I interview at least 500 people. Figure out what they want, and then I put that in the book. And people want clear, clear communication. Again, I always tell a boss or CEO or a manager, make sure your employees, for one, understand what their clear job description is, and they can clearly do it, and they have the clear skill set to be able to do that job. If you can if you can meet those three on the criteria scale, you're going to have a productive employee. I like that. Say you've got the CEO person who comes in and he's like just not feeling it. <laughs> you know, he's got stuff that all that garbage inside and he's all this and he's not feeling like he's reaching his goal and he's just got this this feeling what what do you how do you help him with that yeah that that's every single person that calls me we made a video <laughs> one time just being funny because i have a warped sense of humor anyway and, and the video just said hey call us you messed it up we'll fix it oh i like um, that <laughs> it's, it's every single person that calls me and then it's funny because when i get on campus with them uh they want to argue about it and i'll go okay let, let's put really? some markers here on the whiteboard all right this, 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 has all just happened in your life. Is that a mark of success? Okay, can we agree on that's not how you achieve success? Okay, then, then we yeah. need to fix these things, right? Oh, yeah. by the way, we haven't even gotten your company. That's just you personally. <laughs> I love it. It's true. I've had, I, yeah, I've had markers turn in my head. Somebody tried to break my whiteboard. Uh, oh, told me to get out of their office. Uh, they'll fire me and then bring me back. Uh, wow. I'm very, uh, I'm very clear. Um, well, yeah, I, I was a high school basketball coach, and I got hired and fired based on wins. So I got to do this an awful long time. And if you don't win, you don't get to stay. And so I approach everything I do the same way with the scoreboard. It is interesting because people don't always want to. They don't want to see the full picture. They just want you to fix it magically. Give me the magic pill. Give me the magic pill. Get get everything solved for me. But to, but when you put all the dots and you say, oh, "Sorry, there is no magic pill. You are the one. You are the one that has to make it happen." They get very angry. The ego steps in and says, "No way. You know, <laughs> I'm not the reason." <laughs> oh, yeah. so, so many folks want to look at an external, you know, point. And I'm like, "Hey, they didn't do this. You did. And since you did yeah. this, we got to start with you to fix it." Yeah. That, that Yeah, it's very true. They want the external. And yet, when you give it to that external, you can't control it. It's so funny. Um, I also want to know how, okay, you're relaunching this book. The um, It's not them, it's you. All right, why are you relaunching it? Great question. I, you know, I'm glad you asked that. Uh, two years ago, when I launched the book, I have, I've had this mysterious illness, mysterious illness for years. Oh. And when I launched the book, it went number one in two countries. And Australia, because i got family over there, that was the most important for me. 
but I was so yeah. sick the day we launched it. I was stuck in a hotel room in Raleigh and could not leave, nor get out of bed, oh. or beat myself. Oh. And I don't remember the launch at all. And my, my, my publisher, my poor publisher, he said, you're the first author I've ever had get a bestseller and become a ghost. Oh. He's like, I thought I was, the CIA couldn't even find you. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm sorry. And I reappeared six months later. He's like, I've just never had anybody do that. I said, well, tell you what, I'll relaunch the book so this time I can remember it, and I promise not to disappear on you. Oh, that's and cool. so we relaunched it just so I would have a physical date that I could remember. And I'm hoping you're feeling better and robust and healthy and wonderful now, too. Yeah, I, I do now. It, it was about a two, two-and-a-half-year stretch where I had my, my, my radio show, I had my TV show, and I lost everything because I was too sick to even work. Oh, I'm so sorry. But and, you, uh, it, it, it all yeah. comes back. I mean, it's just the universe had a different road for you, and now you're coming back with it. So, Well, I, you know, I've, I've taken all the appropriate steps to get here. Uh, I feel much better now. I'm starting to take clients again. Uh, it, it's funny. People were wondering, man, dude, what happened to you? And uh, so I, I'm back now. I actually did something on uh, social media the other day to see if my fan base was ready for me to come back. Thank goodness <gasps> uh, they actually remembered me. And they were vocal in the fact that they want me to come back and do another show. Awesome. Awesome. Guys, you're listening to 30 Minute Moments. I'm Elena Chapman, and we're talking with Scott Farrell, and he truly is the behavioral expert. So come right back. We've got lots more. You're listening to 30 Minute Moments with Elena Chapman, helping you discover your true purpose on WoWo and at WoWo.com. 30 Minute Moments is back, and I'm Elena Chapman. Guys, Scott Farrell is so cool. I mean, he he's a radio show host. He's launched eight books. Now he's doing It's Not Them, It's You, which I just love that title. And he's just, he's dynamic. He really does treat it like it's you're the football team, and he gets you right in shape. I love this. Scott, I want to know what got you into doing this kind of work. I mean, you were a coach, Coaches, you know, they're coaches for life, and 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 it's really cool. But what got you over to to wanting to help people with their corporations and help people with their lives? Uh, it's it's funny. I was a special ed teacher. My 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 actual degrees in behavior, wow. in every aspect of special ed. And I had a family come in to see me one day, and and we were going through their behavioral program. And one of the people went looked at me and said, "Hey, man." If this works in the classroom, you think you could do this over at my company? I said, yeah, no problem, man. He goes, uh, will you do a behavioral program for my employees? <laughs> I said, sure. So that's how this started almost, what, 29 years ago. Wow. Uh, I'd always had businesses of my own on the side. But uh, it wasn't until then that I actually applied my degree to businesses. Because uh, I, I can't even count. I, I think I counted the hours I've done behavior. It's almost 59,000 now. That's a lot. Where I've been in this world, uh, counting my degree. I was very fortunate. I worked with the best behavior guy probably in the United States, and we helped start inclusion programs in the state of North Carolina for special ed students, and probably the first for autism. And he, he huh. gave me the best advice anybody's ever given me. Shut up and listen. So for yes. the last 30 years... I've gone to someone, shut my mouth, got out my notepad, and wrote down everything they told me to do. And then I went and did it. What other tools? I mean, working in special ed, I always, that just, I think that is one of the most, can be most of the, one of the most rewarding, but also one of the most difficult jobs. And because it's, it's just having a whole classroom, when you have your own child that has some kind of handicap like that, special ed, then you're dealing with one. But when you're dealing with a whole different, every child has his own dynamic. What were the tools that you used with them that you find works with <laughs> all of us people in corporations and, and businesses? It's funny. It's universal. Uh, yeah. with someone that has an IQ under 70, you just have to be very clear on the directions. Oh, man, that sounds like being a parent. It sounds like being a spouse. It sounds like being a, a senior VP or CEO. Be very clear on the expectations, on the task, and on the reward or the consequences. If you do that, most of the time everything runs smoothly. Um, I, 
it, I've got some stories that can't tell them on radio, but they're absolutely hilarious <laughs> about what I went through teaching children with autism or any type of intellectual disability uh, how to live life as far as basic skills. And so when you go into a company, if you're very clear with the management team, with the employees and with the clients on what to expect, what they're going to receive and the desired outcome, then everything tends to run smoothly. It's no different in a classroom or for a ball team. I was very clear on my expectations as a high school coach. I was very clear on the outcomes that I desired, and I was very clear on what we could achieve. And then everybody bought in. You know, it, that it is true. When when someone's having trouble in their relationship, I always tell them, well, how, especially, you know, a lot of single moms bringing in um, somebody they love and they adore and they want them to fit into this family. And you've got this family is like a corporation. It really is. Everybody has their role, the dynamic of that corporation, the vision of that family, the vision of that, you know, it is the same thing. And if you have kids and you're bringing someone into that, you're bringing in a, you're bringing in a new employee, you're bringing in a new manager, you're bringing in a new spouse. It's the same thing. You have to know how everybody is going to play. What is the vision for that person? People don't think. They just add or they 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 just they don't think ahead. How is this dynamic going to work? But when you have a clear goal, when you have expectation and everybody is on the same page, it just goes much smoother. It, it just makes sense. You're, you're, you're teaching sense. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Who, who knew you could sell common sense? Uh, but, but you can. You can. All right. You can. What I would love to hear, because I know they're out there, what companies do you think are so-called, quote-unquote, getting it right? Well, I'll go through a real quick list, because I did an extensive search. So I would actually go to each one of these companies. QT convenience stores, one of the best. Chick fil A, I, I actually go to, I'm in Atlanta, so that was an easy one. All right, so I'll throw that outlier because I just cheated. Uh, Fairmont Hotels. Uh, oh, I Russell love them. Hotels. Yeah. Um, I went to each one of these hotel chains and I went to every single person in the hotel. And wow. I would just say, what do you think about seat management? Boom, 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 boom. I had a series of questions. And they all said, we love it here. And if they didn't say they loved it, I didn't count their response. So Good. they had to say this was the most exceptional job I've ever had. And each one of those that I just named off, that happened. Isn't that cool? And I was amazed. I was like, you really feel touched from the CEO all down. Absolutely. Did you meet the CEO by any chance and see, you know, like uh, Napoleon Hill went to all the people who are the, you know, inventors and innovators? I had, I had dinner with the CEO of Chick-fil-A one night. Um, we just happened to be at the same gala, and uh, we sat at the same table, and I got to chat with him. What a wonderful man. I never met him. Uh, I just eat their chicken. I don't know. Any, you know, it, it's one of those deals. <laughs> but, but a great guy. I got to talk to the senior vice president of QT, um, and, and then I talked to – I forgot who I talked to with Trump. And then with Fairmont, um, you can just call it. They're great folks. Um, just – understood and I, and I asked each employee what's your mission what tools have you been given to accomplish that mission and what is the payoff if you accomplish the mission and they were able to tell me each single step of what was there Ooh, I could, was impressed I was like wow could you say that again for people because yeah, those were important right there that goes yeah. for every part of life really because oh, yeah. I, I asked each employee what was the mission what were the tools for the mission do, do you have the tools to accomplish that mission and then for you personally as an employee what's your payoff for accomplishing the mission. So many times we do not reward our employees for, for obtaining the goal of the company. That's very true. Each one of these companies, there was a direct payoff to them doing their job and meeting the company's goal. And when you have that, then you get satisfaction. Right. You know, and you've and the, and the employee feels worthwhile. It's the same thing with kids. It's the same thing. <laughs> it really is the same thing with your families. That goal, Absolutely. and when they complete it, you have an award uh, award of some sort. You know, something that they want, and and they feel accomplishment. That's how you build self esteem. Ah, bing. You know, it's very cool. This is thirty minute moments. We will be right back with Scott Farrell. This is 30-Minute Moments with Elena Chapman, helping you find your inner self every Sunday on WoWo and at WoWo.com. 
Do you want to be a part of a group that gets things done and stays in touch? Or perhaps you're not being who you truly want to be. Maybe you're relying on someone else to make you happy. It's time to expand your personal growth and take back your power. Join Savvy Sisterhood by Elena Chapman. The ladies meet on Facebook every Monday at 7 p.m. It'll be your first step to your personal growth. Join the group, and the best part is, it's absolutely free. Savvy Sisterhood by Elena Chapman. Find it on Facebook and get ready to take back your power. Hello, everyone. This is 30 Minute Moments. We are back, and we're at my favorite, favorite part, the shift. The shift, the shift, the shift. And I would love to know, Scott, what was it that brought that aha moment, that pivotal time in your life, just that wake-up call? Do you have a story like that? (laughs) Oh, boy, do I have a story. (laughs) Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I, I, I tell this story, and if you didn't grow up in Charlotte, you don't understand this. I woke up on the middle of Independence Boulevard in downtown Charlotte one night. I woke up on it in the median. Oh, wow. And I, once upon a time, I was an extremely bright three-time offender who, who had gotten offered a, a scholarship for nuclear engineering. And I decided to go after women, drugs, and uh, alcohol. Oh, and, I was in the pit of death, and uh, I ended up finding Christ, and it saved my life. And at that moment, you know, I'd already thrown away everything as far as what I was doing. I always tell people I was Metallica without the money. Uh, (laughs) Not Metallica now, but Metallica from the late 80s. Um, it, It was, I didn't have any direction, no reason to live, and no way to keep going. And then all of a sudden, I had it. And now... I transition that. I go back to college, get my degree, work with one of the best behavior people in the United States. And then for the last 30 years, I've done nothing but go and hang out with people who were smarter than me. And the yes. gift I gave myself was understanding I have so much to learn. It's funny. I'm in my mid-50s now, and every single year I go, oh, my goodness, I got so much to learn. Yeah. So what I did was I once I got the aha moment, I started calling NBA teams, college coaches, uh, CEOs. Uh, Hugh Ross is one of my favorite people because he's an astrophysicist, and that was my interest as a kid. And I started going and visiting with these people. So I would just go hang out with an NBA coach, or I would call one of the ACC coaches and go hang out with them and pick their brain on what made them successful, what made their team successful, and how I could use that in my everyday life and with my clients. And now 30 years later, it it paid off. You know, I I hope our listeners are hearing this because – We always think that we can't step out and just call and say, hey, I want to learn and and I want to better myself. And what are you doing that I can apply to my life? And we 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 get shy. We think, oh, those people aren't going to want to talk to me. Well, I, I don't know if I can get out of my circle. But yet here is someone who just said, hey. I want to better my life. You have the answers. I'm going to step out. And I'm going to talk to him. Is that? A, am I putting that in a nutshell, Scott? Yeah, it, it's funny. People people ask me all the time. I said, "Well, look at me. I'm in my fifties, and now I'm one of the experts, and nobody ever calls <laughs> me. I've had a couple of people. I said nobody turned to me down. I went to Coach K one time with a crazy request, and I walked over to him. I said, Coach, can I talk to you for a second? And if you don't know who Coach K is, he's the Duke basketball coach. Okay. And he said, Scott, I've been asked this question several times, but for you, I'll do it. Wow. Said, coach, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate this. And each person I went to, regardless of who it was, Coach Silas for the Charlotte Hornets, great people who just wanted to teach their craft to somebody who was willing to listen. Yeah. And it's true. We all, we all... I'm in the same place as you. People, I don't hear from people who want to just learn. Well, sometimes I do, but very, not for how many people out there who are searching. It's right. very out of balance. And yet, that's why we go into what we do. We, And that's why people who do a succeed or, or feel like they have that success in their lives, they'd love to share that, folks. They would love to share how. I remember Bob Proctor had this... Um, he he met a man and and he was really down on his luck like you were kind of you know not on drugs but just not applying anything kept a job for a day kind of thing and and this guy said listen 
I'll give it to you. Here's the book, Think and Grow Rich. You know, who are you going to listen to? Are you going to listen to your friends or yourself? And you're always sick and poor, and I have money, I'm healthy, and I'm happy. Listen from me. Take lessons from me. And, and people want to help. We just have to step out. That's very cool. All right. Tell us a little bit about, um, you know, how we can get hold of your book, first of all. The easiest way is naturally go to my website. Let me spell it. My mom spelled me uniquely. <laughs> S-C-O-T-F-E-R-R-E-L-L.com. That's scottferrell.com. It's funny. There's two of us. One of us works for ESPN. One of us doesn't. And people <laughs> in Atlanta used to confuse us because we were in the same building. Oh, wow. So, I went down to get coffee one day, and this guy launched into this profanity-laced tirade. And then I spoke, and he goes, oh, man, you're the wrong Scott Farrell, man. I apologize. Let me go to your coffee. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, it's S-C-O-T. Only one T, right. guys. Farrell.com. And all right, and then anything else? I would love words of wisdom from the great Scott Farrell. <laughs> Here's, here's one. If you're married, always do what your wife tells you to do. Uh, <laughs> I think that sounds good. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> no, uh, always figure out who you are first. Don't try to lead a company. Don't lead a group. Don't lead your marriage. Don't lead your family. Do you know who you are first? And that's the only way that they're going to figure out who they are. I love that. Oh, it has been such a pleasure to have you on. I love your accent. I love what you have to say. Thank you so much, Scott, for being here. Thank you for having me. And for everyone else, I hope you enjoyed that. Listen, he's right. Find out who you are. Sit down today and just start writing. Who am I, this Elena Chapman? Who am I? Am I a leader? How am I a leader? Am I confident? Am I feeling what? What? Who am I? And once I know that, then I can start putting myself best into this world. Isn't that cool? And it's so easy. Everything really is. This is 30 Minute Moments. Next week, we have got some fabulous, I'm, I'm just so, we have a local person who really, Dr. Cashman, my gosh, Dr. Cashman, he is such a icon in the Midwest for how to just live with a better diet. Simple, better diet. And really apply your life so that you can feel so fit and wonderful. And um, you don't want to miss that because they're simple little things. Until that time, have a wonderful week. Try to apply this. Who are you? This is Elena Chapman at ElenaChapmanLife.com, and this is 30 Minute Moments. This has been 30 Minute Moments featuring Elena Chapman. If you missed an episode, download it now at WoWo.com. Podcasts by Federated Media.